Hi there, Melanie, this one is for you. Uh, about the clapping. Let's start with uh, the rhythm, the Pachiru Alto, that uh, Gretchen is uh, uh, clapping on her song. Uh, it's like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and four and one and two. Three, four, one, two. Three and four and one and two. Three, four, one, two. And so on. Uh, of course, she's doing this much faster. And when you listen to her song, you will hear, hear just the three and the four claps together. But you don't know where she's starting or where the beat is. She, she's, when, you, when I listen to her song, I, I only hear this. But I rec recognize the Pachiro Alto in it. Uh, so if you clap the Pachiro Alto also faster, then you will hear the three and the four together. One, two, three, four. That's actually the pattern, uh, what she is clapping, and but she is making a lot of variations, of course, but this is where it's coming from. Uh, when the Brazilians start to clap this, uh, most of the time this pattern of the Pachido Alto starts in the second bar. The first bar they clap something else, they can clap just uh, four uh, strokes on the beat or whatever they uh, find out, <laughs> but they make something of it and the second bar they start uh, clapping uh, this pattern. So for instance if you uh, start uh, a song like uh, Chega de Saudade, the first bar, you can clap just uh, four beats, just one, two, three, four, and then the Pachiro Alto starts. So you have one, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. You hear the melody is in the Pachiro Alto. Uh, but when you listen to all those Brazilian sambas, the Pachiro Alto is always in there. Uh, most of the time it's faster. Uh, and the melody is in this, in this rhythm. And that's what she is doing too. But she makes a lot of variation and the drummer is playing really free. So you don't know where the beat is if you just start listening, you think, well, I don't recognize anything. But actually it's just... <coughs> and her song. Uh, perhaps for you it's nice to sing a samba, a Brazilian song that you already know, and try to clap this. But remember, the pattern starts in the second bar. So you start already with the song. It can also be another samba. Um, like Tristeza, Tristeza, and the second bar is the Pachiro Alto is starting. Tristeza, por favor, pa, 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 minha alma que chora, pa, 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 and so on. Uh, if you practice this, you will get the independence uh, of clapping and singing. Okay, that's one thing. The next thing I want to show you is the I need an instrument, the guiro, I will take it, I have it here. This instrument is the guiro and I will play a rhythm and it goes like this. It's simple, just Okay, that's the guiro. Now Gretchen. What she's clapping, first just the clap and then she's doing the thing that I did on the guiro. I turn my left hand, or first I will scratch my hand, I don't, or rub it, rub it. I don't know the right English word, but you play like this and up again and the clap. So you have pam. I hope you can understand this. This is also something that Gretchen is, is doing. 
when she's clapping. She is singing a song and then she's turning her left hand and she's not actually clapping but just rubbing your hands like this. And it goes like this. Pam, shan, pam, pam. And again, she has a good independence, so she can do this and have a conversation or sing her song or making a solo or do variations or whatever. Perhaps it's nice to practice for you too, that you, you clap this and sing a song or just order a cup of coffee in a restaurant or something to get this uh, independence. This is also something she is doing. Another thing she's doing, uh, and I need a tambourine for this, I will take it. This is the tambourine. I have done a, a tutorial about the tambourine and it's called, I don't know, uh, tambourine carretero or virado. It's when they are playing samba, they are also turning this tambourine when they play a rhythm. It's like this. Okay, just to let you know that this exists. And this is the same thing that Gretchen is doing. Again with the left hand turning. And when she's turning, she is not actually clapping, just like the Guiro, but she is again rubbing. And she uses this rhythm too. So she's just, just uh, clapping two times. One, two, the second is soft. Then turns, one, two, and again. Pump. One, two, three, four, one. Yes, that's also something she is doing with her left hand. And you get this, this sound. And uh, if you put it together, it's uh, in the background, it's a nice, uh, the rhythm uh, keeps a nice flowing groove. course you need to practice this first very slow and then build up the speed and then uh, extra you have to sing your song uh, whatever your song may be and that is the combination what she is doing okay um, well I think this uh, I hope this is useful for you uh, it's difficult to uh, get used with the if you are just used to clap only like this and then you suddenly have to turn your hand it's it needs practicing but i already already said it okay i hope uh, it's useful for you and uh, good luck with it and hope to see you soon bye bye